So we have a page with department and employees shown as a graph. Um, what we want to do is whenever someone updates employees, we want the graph to update automatically. We could use push or ADS to do that, and we're going to use an easier way, which is to use a poll component. So here's our page, um, here's the graph. We're going to take the poll component, just drag it into the same area. Okay. Um, for the poll, the main thing that you set is the interval. Okay, this is in milliseconds, so this is every five seconds the poll is going to expire. And when the poll expires, we can do something. So let's create a new backing bin. Okay. And we'll have a poll expired method. Okay, so we have a method. Uh, in the method, we want to reference the actual graph. So another thing you want to do here is um, for the graph, set the binding property and expose it in the same backing bin. And let's call it our graph. Okay. So what do we want to do when the poll expires? We want to re-execute the query for employees. So to make it easier on us, we're going to go into the employees, pick up the execute operation, and bring it as a button to the page. Okay. So what we want to do is in the backing bin, we actually want to kind of press this button. So one easy way to do it is double-click the button, which would then allow you to have a method. Okay. So execute emp query, which will include the ADF binding code in your backing bin like that. Okay, so if you actually look here, you have the piece of code that actually goes off and execute the query. Okay? So we actually want to just replicate this in the poll expiration. Right? So we're going to go over here and we're simply going to have it's a string based method. So we're just going to do execute amp query. So what we want to do after this is actually refresh the graph. So we're going to do this by using ADF faces context. We probably need to input this, so input it. And then there's a method there called get current instance. We don't actually need all of this part here. Okay. And on this one we have add partial trigger and we're going to refresh the graph component. So this is the graph if we highlight it. Okay, this is the graph that we defined. Right. That's all we need in the code. Let's save everything. Let's go and run our page. And while we're running our page, we can also show you that we have a little SQL here ready to be executed that would simply uh, double the salary for all the employees in Department 20. So here's our little graph. Let's look at Department 20. Okay, so right now it's around uh, 13k. We can open JDeveloper put it on the side so we can actually see the graph and you just saw it refreshing now. Let's run the command, okay? And you can see it's now at twenty five. Let's divide it by half. Okay. I really will wait for the graph to refresh and then run it and then you see it's back to thirteen. One thing to note is that the only part of the page that refreshes is the graph and not this part of the page. So you can actually do this. And this is the refresh here, but this one would be refreshed with the timer. And another thing you can do is you can actually stop the timer when you want to uh, via code. That's it. So the one thing we probably still want to do is we don't actually want to show uh, this execute button. Um, so the easiest thing to do would be to just go to your code, okay, here's the execute button, and you can just remark this one, okay, like that. So now if you actually save this and go back into the browser, reload the page, Okay. 
the execute button is gone and your operations would still be working fine so if we go over here and update again to divide by 2 go back here it's now at about 6500 if you double it by 2 to double 